Hey everybody, Beth back here again to do another video. I can't believe that I'm going to do another video when I said I would never do one <laughs> in the first place. Um, but I feel like I need to do this because of trotting this little bad boy out <laughs> in my last video. I felt like I needed to show actually how gorgeous this guy started out to be. So. Um, while I was trotting that uh, bad boy out, little did I know, my CBB bath and body order was being packed up and, and shipped out to me. So I wanted to share that with you because I love everything in this order. I truly do. Um, it, it's a small order, so that's good. Uh, that way I can start off and, and see how I do a small review and then maybe work my way up. So um, without further ado, I wanted to show this pretty thing right off the bat. And of course, this is the Blueberry Cheesecake Tart. And I'm going to open it real quick so I could show it in detail. I wanted to show the cute little packaging that she does. And look how gorgeous that is. And it's got the double layer. And it's that creamy cheesecake uh, smell scent with the blueberry, tart blueberries. Kind of more of a um, bakery blueberry. You know, that blueberry pie filling um, that is in blackberry cobbler, ain't it? As long as those berries are in that lovely, sweet, gooey pie filling stuff. It's, you can't go wrong with that. So this is wonderful and I mean as you can see it's it's a very nice size and uh, yeah this is after much love so <laughs> I love this and like I said I'll get it in every order that, uh, that I get with Melissa because it's just it's great. So moving on I've got three more bars of soap and uh, a shave cream sundae that I'll save until last because that's the grand finale. Um, so let's go on to, this is my um, Lovebirds uh, soap that I ordered for. I'm the Candle Bingle, <laughs> Candle Bingle, <laughs> that sounds like something from a Christmas special, kids Christmas special. Um, this is my Love Birds soap that I ordered because I just so happened to be the candle bingo caller for the month of May. And I thought it would be fun to offer a prize for anyone that plays candle bingo on the pouring pot. And I'll put the linky down below so you guys could get in. It's not too late. Um, everybody that plays during the month of May and by that I mean give Victoria your bingo card and there's instructions on how to play on the pouring pot uh, message board site um, I'm gonna have a giveaway and everybody that puts in their uh, candle bingo card at the end of the month we're gonna do a drawing and the uh, award is gonna be or the prize rather is gonna be a, a bar of lovebird soap and um, a 16 ounce uh, country jar of the lovebirds um, and this is a little nod to Tina and Kayla who are both absolutely delightful wonderful uh, gals who I love um, they created this and it was included in the regular CBV line I believe in May yes um, and it is a combination of birds of paradise and love spell, so you know, love birds, hence the name. And it is wonderful. I'm not going to unpackage it because you know I want it to be nice and pretty for the winter. But I'm not usually a, a perfume cologne fan, and in you know soaps or candles really. Um, but I really like this. The uh, Birds of Paradise, which is a combination of uh, strawberries and cream really tones down the love spell for me um, who like I say I, I don't typically go for the perfume scents but you know love spell has so many fruits in it already that <laughs> 
it, I guess it's a fruit lover's paradise rather than a cologne lover's, but, you know, it does have a little, what, uh, musky note and some rose petals, but my gosh, I didn't realize it had all of this fruit, grapefruit, apples, strawberries, clementines, peach, just a ton of fruit in there from the love spell also, so this is just a very uh, light, uh, fruity, with just a hint of that uh, perfumey note, and it's just perfect, so that is going to be a great prize for whoever wins this, and Tina and Kayla, you did a great job, so love that. Okay, on to, look how gorgeous this is, this, I'm going to try to get a real nice in the little package. How cute is the packaging? Melissa, you just you're just ripping it up. You're just hitting it out of the ballpark. These are getting I mean, they were already wonderful to begin with, but every order is just like, ah, uh, you know, the creativity, just when you think she couldn't do it any better, she does. And this is uh her bottoms up. And um I'm gonna get it out of the package for you so you can see in detail. And actually, I know these have all been reviewed and well-loved, but I'm just getting around to ordering mine and, and getting the order, so I want to share. This is gorgeous. Look at that. And it's got the pineapple chunk and these white shavings, you know, to simulate that coconut kind of shavings on top with this gorgeous ocean blue on top and, and the yellow on the bottom and um, and I've heard just in the last couple of days people have been talking about Victoria's pineapple scent and how boy it dukes it out with just everything that it's paired up with most of the time it's just really a straight up strong po pineapple and anybody that tries to compete with it I'm talking about her scents like they're people any other scent <laughs> that tries to duke it out with pineapple, um, it's a challenge. This does it perfectly, in my opinion. I mean, the pineapple is there, and it's that strong, wonderful, sweet, tart pineapple, but um, Melissa paired it up with just straight coconut and the pina colada, which is described as just like a sweet, coconutty, uh, tropical scent. So I'm going to guess that the two of them combined kind of matches out the one pineapple <laughs> note in it. And it's just, it's so, it's such a great balance. So this is making me order the pina colada scent in my next order as a scent shot because that is just delightful. And then another cutie patootie package. This is the champagne pomegranate soap. And I, I went over that in my last video, if you caught it. Um, it's just that combination of the fizzy pop and the pomegranate. And look how gorgeous this is. I really hope this is picking up on the camera because it's just gorgeous. I, I love this translucent bar. And then you have all the shavings throughout the soap bar itself. And then you have the shavings on top. It's just so creative and so fun, and boy, that effervescence just really, you know, goes up into your nostrils, and what a great morning scent this will be. I mean, this will wake you up in the best possible way with just this fruity goodness, this pomegranate, and, you know, it's got that glitter on the top um, that you never detect ever again. <laughs> It, it's gorgeous and then it goes away so you know that's perfect this is just mm, I mean I I really love everything and then finally like I said the grand finale this ginormous wonderful shave cream sundae and I got it in the scent love potion 9 love potion number 9 <laughs> and to be honest, it's it's more red than I expected. I mean, look at that gorgeous red color, and it's huge. It's, you know, if I'm going to put my hand up against, I mean, it's almost the length of my hand, and 
that's that's what I'm talking about. I mean, it's just <laughs> it's it's a gorgeous scent, and it's it's described as like fruity goodness with some warm vanilla musk or something, and that's mm, just delightful. It's it's a perfect balance of a warm vanilla musk, just as it says, and a sweet, slightly tart berry, and it's just delicious. You just want to eat this. Um, as a matter of fact, I was surprised that nobody dug into this <laughs> before I got home because it was unpackaged, and I thought, you know, one of the guys is going to think that this is something edible because it smells like it, it looks like it, and I can't wait to try this out. This will be the first time that I try this out, and it's it's just wonderful. I love the scent. It's very light. Um, really, I think anybody would love the scent, um, hands down. And I've got it coming in my May 1st order, so I'm really anxious to smell that bad boy in scent shop form, too. So, um, But that was my small order from CBV. I love every single thing, Melissa. You did a fantastic job, sweetie. And uh, I'll definitely be ordering again. Um, I think I need to have a shave cream sundae in just about every scent that you can produce it in because those are just out of this world, as well as all the rest of the soap. So, at any rate, that was my try at my first review. I um, hope it was okay. And. Uh, <laughs> Um, maybe I'll talk myself into doing a review uh, with my May 1st order, but it, that'll be quite a bit longer. So, um, At any rate, um, I'll be glad to see you if I see you back then, because that means I've got my candles too. So, um, Thanks for watching everybody, and uh, hopefully I'll see you after that uh, order comes. Bye.